Okay guys, today we're gonna build a better litter box for the cat. It'll be pretty simple. I'm just gonna get a tote. Also gotta roll this uh it's for like in the drawers. It's a little great. And then I got a few different of these, we're gonna try these out. It's like a like a velcro. The only thing I could find. There's other velcro you can get, it's got the tape on it, it just does. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the lid. The litter box will sit on here. Then you're gonna use the tote upside down. We're gonna cut a hole for the cat, because the cat will jump up on it and go in, use the litter box. And when you place it, you wanna place it where there's a wall on the wall, and the cat comes out and stands on this part and then goes. And what we're gonna do, there's two ways you could do it. You could sit here and drill a bunch of little tiny holes, like make a grate. So when the cat gets up on there, the litter falls through it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Velcro, put it in there, and then put that black mat over it so the cat can jump up on the mat and then it'll catch some of that cat litter. Because uh, our problem here, we have all these hard, the, the hardwood floors, the cat, it sticks to its feet and then it tracks it a whole trail. So I figure this should do it. So we'll give it a try. And uh, it's pretty cheap. Uh, if you have a tote, you can use that. So the next step, we're gonna find something that's round so we can trace it. We don't bother to cut it. Uh, I guess it depends on the cat. You'll have to adjust, which I, I may have to end up getting a little bit bigger tote. This one kind of seems small. The litter box fits in there, but I don't know. But we'll give it a try, it'll be our test. But I'll put the hole in the back corner. I'll probably have to make one, see if the cat can use it all right. And if not, we'll expand it a little bit. So I'm gonna find something that I can trace it out. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be round, it'd be square. There's something for the cat to get through. I thought about making it square, but I think round will be a little better because the cat will kind of jump in it out. So it'll help not to stuff off its feet. So I just got this thing of vinegar. I'll kind of use it to trace. Trace me a circle. A weird ass circle. So I'll probably use a pair of scissors. I'll just take a drill and punch a hole or something. You can poke the knife. If you don't have a drill, you can use a razor blade. careful which uh, I think I'm gonna use the razor blade because I don't think scissors are gonna work too good uh, scissors ain't gonna work that good so let me see if I can find my razor blade Well, cutting around circle is sort of a pain. So a square would actually probably work better because you just cut, 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 cut. You don't have to try to trace it. Make a circle because it's just kind of going off of me. That, I don't have the, the sharpest razor blade right now. This is a pretty, uh, flimsy tote honestly but it's a dollar store it, I looked at the receipt it was nine dollars which is pretty high for this thin junk and I probably want to just take the razor blade and try to trim off all the little sharp edges what you may end up having to do is put like a, a tape around here just to keep it from uh being with like any sharp edges. Alright, I got these like a Velcro.
But this is my plan, just to put this here. When the cat comes up, stands on here, and it's like a grate, so the litter should fall down through it. I'm just gonna trim it. I don't think I thought that through all the way. Because I don't think the glue will stick to this and then Velcro it. All right, all right for, so for my initial test, I'm gonna skip the, trying to put the Velcro on this. I'm just gonna use a good old fashioned Gorilla Tape. We'll come up with a different way of sticking this on here. But for now, and my other my other idea, which is to help stop the cat litter tracking all over the place. You get like a, a little bit bigger one, and then a, like a, a tunnel, make a little tunnel, and then put carpet or something in there where they walk through it and into there. So when they walk back out, because I've tried to put the little mat around the box, but it didn't seem to work. So. This seems like they'll jump up, they'll jump up on here, and then this is a it's like a grate, so it should help a good bit. Got your hole, got your mat. What you do is you pop this up, set your litter box there, put this down at the top of it. So that way, if it was the other way around, the litter box is down in here, so you're reaching down, I'm trying to get the litter box out. This way, it's right there. As soon as you just pop this up, it's out of the way. Which if you want it the other way, just, just reverse it. Let's flip this up. Put your hole. Put your grates. Now you could, like I said, you get a drill and just put, you know, 5,000 holes in there. And it'll be like a grate. And it'll just fall back down in there. But th for now, this is just a test. I'll try it out for, you know, a couple weeks or so. And then we'll make another video of how it works. Uh... Thanks for watching. I know this is kind of a weird video, but it's kind of a problem. I know people probably have the same problem. And I kind of looked it up and they, they sell things like this, but for like 50 bucks. I think you can build it for I don't know, $11. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you later. See what else we come up with.